Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of the Criterion Connection. It's Music Month. I'm Wade. It's Joe. Wade, and, Wade's here on time. Yeah. Yeah. Cause what last, happened last week? I got lost, man. How? It's a new set. This is a new set, ladies and gentlemen. That looks exactly like the old one. Nice. Well, I'm, I'm all about continuity, I guess. <laughs> uh... Yeah, we're doing this. Last week, you guys did Spinal Tap, so today we're doing something kind of similar. In a way. It's about a band. Uh, it's the first Leningrad Cowboys, uh, Leningrad Cowboys Go America from 18... I keep on saying it. 1989. 1898. It's from 1989. Yes. Uh, it's an Aki Korismaki movie. Yes. I hope I pronounced that right. Yes. I'm not good with... With Finnish. This is a Finnish movie. This is a Finnish movie. Yeah. Uh, it's last last week with Spinal Tap. This one, I saw this movie years ago, and I was like, this is so weird. Yeah. And very, like, dry. It's, yep. It's, I feel like if Spinal Tap met, uh, like, uh, what's his name? Borat. What's his name? Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, like that. Like it feels like Spinal Tap meets that. Well, I mean, it, there's there's people that like the audience looks like they're they're real. Well, uh, <laughs> I I don't, I wouldn't go that far. Like I don't think it's like a like they're prank scenes or anything. No, no, no prank scenes. I meant like like kind of like the audience is a little bit more real. I mean, they're not professional actors. No, they're just kind of extras. Um, but, it, I mean, it's not a mockumentary either. No. It's, it's just, it's... Uh, so, should we get into the plot? Yeah. All right, let's talk about the plot. So there's this band in Siberia, the Leningrad Cowboys, and uh, they're playing, like, on their farm, and they're trying to get, like, a record deal, and the guy won't sign them, and he tells them to go to America, they'll buy anything, which I thought was... Hilarious yeah. to start, <laughs> <laughs> and this is also the time. This eighty nine. So this is like after, like the eighties, like music wise in America. Like it's yeah. so they'll pretty much sign anyone. Yeah, yeah. And um, so they're getting ready to leave for America. One of the members dies. He he freezes. <laughs> uh, and another another thing about Spinal Tap character dies, and that do yeah several. It's funny, um, and. So they make their trip over to America and try and figure out ways to play to an audience and get big and make money. Do and, you have rock and roll? And, yeah, and it's this, it's over there. It's this big <laughs> band. They they play all kinds of instruments. Um, Best and, hair. <laughs> well, I'm getting there. I'm getting <laughs> you get, there. Get to there, yeah. I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, let me just go over to fly. <laughs> okay. So they go to America. It's the big. It's a big band, like eight or nine people. And uh, their manager, uh, the village idiot, wants to Igor. He wants to come along. They tell him no, but he stows away and makes it there anyway. So you do have that parallel story going on. Yeah. And basically, they get to New York, and the guy tells him, "Go to Mexico. I have a cousin who's getting married. <laughs> you could be the band. Maybe you should try rock and roll." And so it's just following them, kind of working their way down to Mexico. And then, then there's various times they do songs. Yeah. If, if, Born to be Wild is one I remember vividly. Um, so, that's the thing. Like, that's the general plot. And you go, that's not much. But the movie relies a lot on visual humor. Uh, specifically, like, you have the band where they all have this crazy pompadour haircut. <clears throat> oh, it's crazy. Yeah. It, it, it's like anime version of a pompadour. It's like okay. a Jojo Bizarre Adventure pompadour. Yeah. And every single member has it. And they have these pointy shoes that extend out about a foot and a half <laughs> to a sharp point as we find out when, when somebody like and the, and those kind of gags like where he kicks the tire and he punctures it. <laughs> it it's a lot of these really weird gags like that. And if you're into kind of visual offbeat humor, oh, it's, this is definitely a movie you should check out. This is a band that's definitely offbeat. Yeah. Actually, well, they're good musicians. They're good musicians. I'm just, I was, I was using the joke. The yeah. Pun. Uh, 
Yeah, there's not honestly there's not much to talk about this movie. Uh, well, <laughs> Nicky Tesco is in it. Um, he's the the lost cousin. Oh yeah. That they run into in Texas, <laughs> and they recognize him because he has sharp shoes and the pompadour. <laughs> Apparently, he he went overboard. Yeah. Off a boat and then floated in the sea and landed in, in Texas <laughs> to be raised by foster parents? <laughs> well, where's Siberia in the, uh... North Russia. <laughs> Is it near the coast? Uh, the, like, the Arctic. <laughs> Is it near, like... like it, It's big, dude. Okay, uh... I'm trying to, oh, I guess you could go either way. If it, if it goes in the Pacific Well, I think he went to America. I think they bring that up at a throwaway oh, line. I okay. think he went to America and they hadn't heard from him. Okay. Um, but he joins the band, and he's the one that sings Born to be Wild. And, yeah. And uh, there was another song right after that, before they get to Mexico. But it's Nicky Tesco, who is the singer and founder of The Members. If anybody remembers that 70s punk band from re- Britain. Do you remember The Members? Yeah. They're fun. Yeah. I thought that was really funny, because I saw them, and I go, that guy looks really familiar. And I had to look him up, and I was like, wow, it's the lead singer from The Members. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, like, it's, it's a... It's not the greatest movie, but it, it's yeah. it's fun. It's fine. It's a it's a, it's a it's fine. It's a fun movie. It like, like I said, if you're into offbeat humor and and a lot of visual gags, like they take the dead band member with them to America so he can see it, and they put him in a poorly made coffin and they cut holes for his hair, his shoes, and his oh, face yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that are sticking out <laughs> of, of of his little coffin. So, I mean, it's it's jokes like that that constantly go on. Oh, yeah. Uh, just them singing these rock tunes with, with their accents and trying to pass off as Americans the whole time. It's, I thought it was really funny. It's kind yeah. of, it's up my alley. So. Oh, yeah. That's all I was like. Joe would like this movie. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I've been, I liked it, too. I, just, I think you'll like it more. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting that Eclipse set for a long time. Yeah, is there, I think there's three more after this. Uh, there's, I know there's, there's one I know more there's that's two under, more features. And there's like, one more that's under Leningrad Cowboys, and then there's like two that are not under Leningrad Cowboys. Yeah. But it has the same characters. So. Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. yeah it's really fun. Yeah. Um, I mean, nothing really stands out like, uh, you know, cinematography wise. Oh no. It, it's, it's a comedy. It's like a road comedy. Cinematography is pretty much, is the camera is just on a tripod. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, sometimes cinematography is just what we're doing right here. It's essentially, <laughs> we're we're making Leningrad cowboys. Oh, and the other visual humor is the, the village idiot guy, Igor. Yeah. He wants to have the pompadour, but his head is, like, half-shaved. Yeah. And he has this, like, little tuft. Oh, yeah, yeah. That he can... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... <clears throat> it's a little fun little movie. It's fun like that, yeah. Yeah. So, bye, Rare Skip. I'm gonna say bye, because I really enjoyed it, but... I can see where some people won't like it, uh, because it's a particular sense of humor. I just happen to be somebody who really enjoys it. I'd say bye to it. It's, it's something that's not going to break your bank. No. <clears throat> um, I think the, uh, the, the Eclipse set is one of the cheaper ones that they have if you go to like Amazon.com. Yeah, um, it's not like The Third Man. It's not going to break your back. And that's just one movie for the third man. <clears throat> yeah, understand that. It's not gonna... Yeah. It's not uh, the David Bowie movie, I forget what it's called. <laughs> the Man Who Fell From Earth or something like that. Fell to Earth. Fell to Earth. Yeah. It's not gonna be expensive like that, so it's 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 pretty easily priced. They're all on film, sure. You can watch on there. I'd say yeah. buy it. It's, 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 a, it's a buy and it's not gonna... You're not gonna regret the buy. It's not gonna be some experimental trippy movie that you're like, ah. <laughs> It's not Stan Brackage. Uh, but... I mean, check it out first. See if you're into that kind of humor. If it sounds like it's your kind <clears throat> of humor. Well, I'd say watch a few YouTube clips. Yeah. Uh, watch, yeah, just, just, or just Google a picture of them. And yeah, their and look it, is, is it, if it's your humor, their look is, <laughs> well, you'll know. One of the great things is they're so stoic when they're playing these they songs. The great thing about this movie is they play it completely serious. Yeah, it's great. Like, if you think, like, Spinal Tap, like, they, they play a little, they have a little silliness to it. Yeah. You know, you could tell it's kind of a movie, right? At times you forget it is a movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but 
It's mostly a movie. This one makes it feel like this is a real documentary. <clears throat> this is real life. This is, these guys are, you know, this... And apparently... And, and, and that's why I, I think I put, like, the... Uh, why I said uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Mm -hmm. It's because he plays his characters dead serious. True. Um, Even Borat's, like, he's it's grounded in what that character's reality is. And what's fun is the band is still playing. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd see him. I think, I think they still play as the Leningrad Cowboys, but they used to be the Sleepy Sleepers. I think. I it was the name of them, and then they brought in other musicians to fill out the rest of the if band. If they came to town, I'd see them. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. If you get a chance uh -huh. to see them in concert, it might be fun as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's our thoughts on Leningrad Cowboys. Go America. Yeah. Let us know your thoughts down there below in the comment section below. You guys have been commenting uh, and uh, engaging with us. Um, yeah, this we is, appreciate it. Yeah, this is Music Month, uh, so we're going to keep that tradition going. Is there any other movie, music uh, movies or musicals in the Criterion Collection that you can let us know down below? I think we're still looking for one more for this month. We have next week's cover. I don't think we have the next week after that cover. We're still, yeah. we got a few juggling in our hands, and we're just like... Can't decide, so maybe you guys give me the deciding vote. Let us know in the comment section. Please also subscribe. Go all that stuff. You also get, speaking of music, you get our new show, MCP Soundcheck. You and me do mm -hmm. a Tribe Called Quest. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. So this, this dates this video at the same time as MCP Soundcheck on yes. a Tribe Called Quest, but we have other ones yes. like Guns N' Roses. And I believe you guys did Ozzy. Ozzy. Ghost. Um, Ghost. And yeah, there's more did, to come. We did one. What was it? Oh, we did Nirvana. Nirvana. That's we what did Nirvana. Was the one. Nirvana. So uh -huh. there's more to come. So keep yeah. watching. Yeah. So uh, next week we are doing an episode. We're doing a, a new re newly released Blu-ray. I'm not sure if it comes out next week on Blu-ray or if it comes out the week after. I'm not sure how I scheduled that. <laughs> I didn't schedule the release. I was scheduling when we do this video. Uh, we are doing a movie called Smithereens. Mm -hmm. uh, it recently, it's going to be recently released on Criterion this month. So uh, check that out if you want to, you know, yeah, or just wait for our review, whichever, whichever works. Or you could watch it like right before because it's on Filmstruck now. Yeah, you can watch it, and then when the review comes wait, out, wait, hold on, it's on Filmstruck. It's on Filmstruck. It's on Amazon Prime. Uh. So watch it on Filmstruck or Amazon Prime. <laughs> and then when our review comes up, compare your thoughts to ours. Yeah. Or if you've never seen it before, you're not going to watch it, you're waiting for our thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also do that. Just watch the video next week. There you go. Uh, so until next time, we will see you later. I sung that one. Sure, man. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs>